going on YouTube? This is Black Widow 7293. Today I wanted to do a video on just some vape mail I received today. Uh, I received two of the four packages that I ordered and surprisingly the two that I got were the two that needed to go together so that's kind of perfect. Uh, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate how well it works yet because uh, I don't have the proper equipment to show you how well it performs. So I'll be getting that equipment tomorrow, and then I have uh, Sunday off, so I will be doing a video, uh, kind of a review on that product, and a review on the other piece that comes in the mail. This is actually my first day off this week, so that's why I haven't been pumping any videos out or anything. So, you have to bear with me. Uh, let me this is my first piece of 8 mail cover up my address, don't want none of y'all stalking me. Bam. Just like so. I opened it up, made sure everything was kosher. I uh, only got two things in here, so if you don't know what those are, you shouldn't be vaping. These little two boxes right here. So these are my Sony VTC4 batteries. I ordered them on well, eBay. Don't worry, I checked the uh, the guy that was selling to make sure that everything was kosher so I didn't want to be buying some knockoff VTC guy and he had like 500 sales all the reviews were legit um, so that's pretty good uh, I got these batteries for actually six dollars a piece which is why I went online and did it uh, they are 2100 milliamp hour 3.7 volt VTC4 and they are US 18650 batteries this is what it looked like and these I got let me get the other one out first make sure they're both the same they come with a sticker on them probably so they can read it a little better because there is some fine black print on there that tells you it's VTC4 battery uh, these are unprotected these go best in your like your mechanical mods all the way down to I think 0.3 ohm resistance so that's kind of nice and I guess these are like the safest battery for mechanical mods because I did in fact purchase my first mechanical mod I was recommended which one to get from actually my previous contest winner Andy Willoughby package opened it up just to check it out got the paperwork I also ordered this from eBay uh, this was made uh, it's actually a clone uh, by Infinite and I thought it was a pretty neat looking mod. I gotta say though, it looks a lot smaller in person than it does on the computer. <clears throat> I'm not gonna complain about it though, I kinda like that. I don't like these big bulky two foot mods that some of these people are carrying around. So, before I open it up, that is a Stingray clone made from Infinite. Comes in a nice little hard, like plasticky looking box. So that's kind of nice. It is CE, so that's good. And it's a two-piece kit. Uh, actually, when I bought when I bought this on eBay, uh, it it came up to I think thirty-nine dollars. So that's not really bad for you know a decent mechanical mod. It is made of solid brass. It has uh, ninety-nine point nine percent silver contacts, which is nice. It's got a magnetic switch on the bottom, which is really nice. Uh, it's got some copper contacts in it as well. This is the drip tip that comes with it. Let's see if I can get the glare off it. It's got the little mechanical symbol, which is kind of neat. And it's a wide mouth tip, which I like. So that's just a little extra add-on. You know, that's kind of nice. I gotta tell you, that tip's actually pretty heavy. Uh, it's, it weighs about as much as an empty iClear 16, so it's pretty decent. And these aren't just stickers. These are actually engraved in these engravings on it. There's the mod. Well, I shouldn't say mod, mechanical mod. I've done in brass before I get fingerprints all over it. It's got the Stingray symbol on the front of it. I'm getting a lot of glare off that window. It says Stingray right there. It does have a mechanical switch right on the bottom. And it is a severely short throw. Uh, so that's nice. You don't have to sit there and press it way up in. This is what the top of it looks like. Wait, my camera's going retarded. 
It's got that silver on top, and then it's got that nice brass finish. And this mod, I have to tell you, weighs about as much as my Vamo does without the tank <clears throat> and with the batteries in it. This does not have a battery in it, and this weighs just as much as a Vamo V3. So you can tell already, you know, it's going to be a, a pretty heavy duty uh, piece of equipment. And these threads are just like butter. I mean, one finger. So that's really nice. Uh, just some of the mods I've, I've gotten, they, uh, the threads are just horrible. It seems like they were made with a tap and die set and never refined or anything like that. And I mean, this thing, it just, it's perfect. It's nice. Uh, I actually watched the review that was on YouTube from Twisted420, and he's one of the guys that actually convinced me uh, to get this just based off his review and on how well it is. It is magnetic contacts, which is nice. I'm not going to take it apart, mainly because I've never torn it apart, so I don't want like an idiot putting it back together. And this is like your safety ring. This is a three-piece style tube. It is solid brass. So that's nice. You can switch the size of it to make it smaller if you like. I'm guessing that's probably an 18350 mode. For me, that's too small. That's like Oompa Loompa hands right there. So. But yeah, these threads, I gotta tell you, are just like butter. I mean, these things screw so nice, and they don't feel dry, they don't feel rough, you don't feel any metal cracking in it or anything like that. They are just smooth. I'm gonna have to get me some brass polish now, just saying. But the other two pieces that are in the mail that I have coming are a Atomic Rebuildable, which is a really nice looking piece of equipment. And the other one I got was a Patriot clone. So when I get those, I'll be doing a review on those. I'm going to be reviewing them on this beast. So I'm actually going to, uh, put fingerprints all over that already. I'm going to be uh, reviewing two things at once. I'll be reviewing this mod and I'll be, be reviewing uh, the rebuildable atomizer as well. So that should be an interesting video. Just figured I'd throw something up there, you know, for a Friday video. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Black Widow 7293. And always, babe.